you 911. Plus, it didn't take me long to realize that uh, it wasn't a log, that it was an alligator. A young boy takes a dip with death on the next Rescue 911. In many parts of the country, man lives side by side with untamed wildlife that can be dangerous. In the rural community of Refurio, Texas, a primitive predatory animal still freely roams the banks of the Mission River. On August 2nd, 1991, eight-year-old Brandon Herndon and his five-year-old sister were visiting their aunt, Vernell Waldrop. That afternoon, they decided to go swimming in Mission River, something they had done countless times before. I made the kids wear a life jacket all the time out here. I wouldn't let them be in the water without it. Aunt Mel, look at me. Oh, that's great. Ashley was a little concerned. She wasn't ready to get in, but she had her life jacket on, and she was sitting on the deck out there with me. Brandon was going to see if he could swim across the river. Hey, Brandon, how are you doing? He was so proud of all that he had learned in his swimming lessons, and he was showing me how he could swim. And even though he had a life jacket on, he was going through the motions of what he had learned. In the house next door lived Chris Stapleton and her husband. Betty was out on the porch barking. What are you hollering at, baby? Will you be quiet? I seen the uh, little boy out there. Then I seen this log uh, pop up. It didn't take me long to realize that uh, it wasn't a log, that it was an alligator. See it, no, look at me. See it, no, look at it's me. It's an alligator. Get that boy out of there. Get that boy out of there. Get that boy out of there. I swam out to him. If the gator was going to take Brandon, he was going to have to take me with him because I wasn't going to give up. Help! Bob, get your gun! There's an alligator with a kid in it, Bob! Help! Help! Bob Stapleton grabbed his 22 caliber rifle and rushed down to the riverbank. Get out of the water for now! There's an alligator! All I could do was just aim, get ready, and set because the alligator still had a hold of the kid. The little boy started hitting him, and the uh, alligator let go. Hurry, Vernell! I didn't think she'd ever get out there. Before Vernell could reach him, the alligator grabbed Brandon again by the leg. The gator actually pulled Brandon underwater. I always heard that alligators took you under and, and drowned you. It's the way they kill their prey. About six foot before I got to Brandon, the gator had stopped attacking me. Oh, Brandon, When he turned loose in the kid, and they got 10 or 15 foot from them, and that far. All I knew is that we had to get back to the deck fast. Oh, Once you shoot a gun, usually the alligator goes away. But this alligator didn't do that. He's behind you, Bob. He's over there. He's over there, Bob. 
Well, I shot him again. Is he okay, Bernard? He had okay. a pretty good gash out of his arm, the inside of his arm, and then on his leg, both inside and out on the knee, the gator had the whole knee part in his mouth. It's gonna be okay. Burnell wrapped the wounds and alerted the hospital that she was bringing in a boy who'd been bitten by an alligator. He was shaking and trembling, and he said, Aunt Nell, am I going to die? And I said, no, darling, you're not going to die, but I'm going to take you to the hospital, and we're going to check these out, and you're going to be fine. Eight-year-old Brandon Herndon was released from the hospital that same evening. Two months have gone by, but his mother, Sharon, cannot forget. I don't know exactly what saved him. Nobody can believe that he's still here. Brandon did tell me that he did think he was gonna die. And that's the first time to him that he'd ever been close to death like that. I am proud of myself because I beat up an alligator. I realized that the life preserver was keeping him from going down like the alligator wanted him to. Even though the little boy knows how to swim, if he hadn't had that life jacket on, he would have been in a world of trouble. The report of an alligator attack surprised game warden Jay Guthrie. You never expect an alligator to come up and bite. As a general rule, they're very non-aggressive. Our main fear is that as a result of this, people will go to killing them out of, uh, out of fear, and there's no need to do that. Just use a little common sense. That alligator's not gonna bother you unless you corner it. And if there's a nest, stay away from it. I'll never forget seeing his face and his eyes, how, how scared he was and the fear and on his face. I, I'll probably remember that for the rest of my life. I will never, ever in my whole life to get back in the river until I'm 38 years old. Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real-life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles.